Hi guys, this is Daniel from FND. In this video, we are going to learn about basics of the Pixar. Why I choose Pixar is because it is a free mobile editing software. Everyone don't have laptop or PC, but most probably everyone have a smartphone. So to edit in mobile, we use Pixar. Pixar is more or like Photoshop. It's like using Photoshop in mobile. Pixar has maximum features that Photoshop has, and also adding effects in Pixar is so easy. Most of the effects are given as presets in Pixar. So we are going to learn about the basics of Pixar. So let's get started. So as I said in the intro, we are going to learn about the basics of Pixar. Open your Pixar. We are going to learn about the editing. So press the plus icon. Image will appear here. On the top there is a section called photos. In that section your photos will appear. If we click all photos. All the photos in the mobile will appear. Collages. Collages is used to collage your photos. In the drawing section, there is a tab called Color, which is the another app from Pixar Company. You can go drawing option from here or else inside while editing the app. Now I'm going to select one image to edit. So I have selected this image. We are going to learn about each and every tab down here. This gold option is the premium one. You can buy it to add some extra features and the next option is tools if we click the tools there will be more option inside the tools for example if we select a crop we can crop our image i'm going to crop this image after cropping you can also change the angle of the image then press the tick icon to apply the changes on the top, the U-turn symbol looking towards the left is the undo and looking the other side is redo. Then again, I am going to tools, select the next tool called free crop. Free crop is more or like crop option, but what the difference is? In crop, cropping can be done in the shape of box, but in free crop, we can crop by selecting the particular area. For example, I am going to randomly select the area inside the image. And that area will be cropped. Using this tool, we can also remove the background. I'm going to discard this now. Next tool is shape crop. This tool helps you to place your image inside the particular shape. Crop only has hard rectangle, but shape crop has bubble rectangle and many other different shapes. And also, if you like to place the image inside any different shapes like star you can place it or pentagon you can place it also you can change the size and color of the outer stroke next tool is dispersion this tool will break your pixels apart for example i am going to select this area and click on the right arrow. This effect is same as the disintegration effect happens when the Thanos snaps his fingers in Avengers Infinity War. You can reduce the size of the dispersed pixel. Also you can change the direction. Then you can also use the stretch option to determine the amount of stretchness. The next tool is clone. Tool helps to select the pixel from the particular location and make it appear on the different location inside the image. To select the pixel, you need to press the target icon down here. Then I am going to target the eye portion. So I have now targeted the eye, then I am going to brush it over the right side to clone the eye portion. This tool is mostly used to remove pimples, acne and dark spots. To remove the pimples, you need to target the clear skin using the target icon.
then select the brush tool and reduce its opacity so that it's look real and also reduce the hardness of the brush hardness is nothing but if we reduce the size of the hardness the edge of the brush becomes softer and if we increase it the edge become harder now if we erase on the pimples the pimples area will get removed the next tool is stretch tool it is more like a liquify tool in photoshop so here you can warp your image for example if i need to enlarge my ear the size is so big so i am reducing the size now we can warp the pixel to make my ears big we can create a cartoon character using this tool see the ear got bigger like that to make the eye bigger there is option called inflate select that option and i'm increasing the size and inflating the eyes oops the size is too big so we did a mistake to restore it we can select the restore option and tap on the portion we did a mistake and it will get restored the option swirl will swirl the pixel and option squeeze will make the opposite to inflate the next one is motion tool select the portion of the image like this then drag it to the left or right to create this cool effect You can also change the count value. The maximum is 50 counts. This is motion tool and you can use it for some effects. The next tool is selection tool. This tool is to add effects to your selection only. For example, I'm going to select the brush selection and select this area and if we add effects that will affect that area only. You can also use square selection, ellipse selection and then apply some effects onto that selection. The next tool is curves. Curves is the most famous tool in Photoshop. In the left side we can see RGB, red, green, blue channel. If we select the red channel and move the curves upward, it will increase the red value in the image. And if we move it downward, it will increase the cyan value in the image. If we select RGB channel and move the curves upward, it will increase the brightness. And if we move downward, it will increase the contrast. If we select the green channel and move the curves upward, it will increase the green value. And if we move it downward, it will increase the magenta value. If we select the blue channel and move the curves upward, it will increase the blue channel. And if we move it downward, it will increase the yellow value in the image. The next tool is adjust. There are more options in the adjust. Brightness from the name itself, you can understand this will increase or decrease the amount of brightness in the image. Contrast means it will increase or decrease the contrast of the image. Clarity will increase the clarity of the image. Then saturation. By increasing saturation, the colors will pop up and decreasing will make the image black and white. Hue will change the colors value then selecting the highlight option increasing or decreasing the highlight will aff affect only the highlight spot shadows will affect only the shadows then the enhance tool you can use this tool to add some effects you can also use this saturation option the next tool is tilt shift you can use this tool to blur the background this effect can give you shallow depth of field like in dslr i'm going to pull this down 
this dotted line will feather the blur this image is not suitable for the line effect so I'm changing the blur type to radial and I'm adjusting the effect Next to, to tilt shift, we have perspective. You can change the perspective of the image using this tool. You can change it both horizontally and vertically. The next tool is resize. Using this tool, you can change the width and height of the image. Then the flip and rotate. From the name itself, we can understand it is used to flip and rotate the image. Then the next tab is effects. As I already mentioned in the intro, the Pixart has many effects as presets. We can't see each and every effect in this tutorial. Let's see some of the effects. For example, if we select HDR effect, it will be applied to the image. Then inside the effect, we can control many options like blur, sharpen, saturation. Fade is like the opacity of this particular effect. If the fade is in 100%, there will be no effect applied. And if the fade is 0%, then the effect is in full strength. So like this, there are many effects here. Down here, there is an option called Magic Blur. Inside Blur, there are different types of blurs. There are also artistic, paper, distort, colors type of effects. For each effect, there will be different type of effects will be appear. Then the next tab is beautify. In this, we can have the effects like changing our skin tones and other beauty related effects. If we click auto, this will create some automatic correction to a skin and image. Then the smooth option will increase the smoothness of our image. If we want this smoothness only apply to our skin, then select the eraser tool and erase all the portion except the skin portion. Then face fix. I don't know what is this doing. I can't find any change in this image. So moving on to next, blemish fix. This will help to remove blemishes in the face. Tap on the blemish area that will fix the blemishes. When we tap two to three times, it will be fixed. Pimples or dark spot can be fixed using this blemish fix. Next one is skin tone. We can change the skin tone using this. For example, if you need the brightness skin, you can click the first one. If you need the darkest skin, you can select the last one. If you want only your skin tone to be selected, select the brush tool and brush it over the skin. These skin areas are not get selected, so I am selecting it. If outside the skin portion got selected using the eraser tool, erase outside the skin. In this image, the outside portion not get selected, so there is no problem. Next one is hair color. We can change the hair color using this. Some hair is not selected, so we can manually select using brush tool. We can also brush it on the beard. Then details, this will increase the details. Then eye color, select which color you needed, then place it exactly on the eyeballs.
if we need to enlarge we can also do it then teeth whiten and red eye in some images there will be red eye issue to rectify it we can use red eye teeth whiten is used to whiten the teeth but in this image there is no teeth shown so we can't use it here next one is stickers there are many stickers available in pixart which are uploaded by pixart community we are not connected to internet for the sake of recording this video so we are not seeing the stickers we can also create our own stickers and that will be also available here the next one is cutout i will tell this about in next video this is used to remove background and create stickers next tool is text tool we can add text using this tool and we can change the font type we can change the color we can add stroke to the text can change the opacity blend mode and shadow we can also change the color and position of the shadow then add photo this can be used to create collages or by changing the blend mode we can create double exposure etc based on your creativity we can create many types of effects using this option next is brushes from the name itself we can understand it is used to draw there are different brushes available here each has its unique features some brushes need internet connection next is border from the name itself we can understand it is used to create borders we can determine the size of the inner and outer border and also the size of the radius next one is draw which is similar to photoshop's layer dialog we can add layers and can draw on individual layers this is the image layer above that this is the empty layer you can also add another empty layer you can also add another photo layer camera layer camera brush layer if i draw something on the empty layer and i hide that layer that drawing will be gone if i draw on another empty layer and hide it same will happen we can draw on each layer separately this is mostly same as the photoshop and we can also use photo sticker etc we can use brush tool eraser tool and move tool move tool is just to move the image i'm going to discuss this now next one is lens flare this also need internet connection so i'm going to connect to the internet and applying the lens flare then we can position and enlarge it then the next one is shape mask we can add different shape mask here then in the frames option we can add frames to our image then the color we can add color by typing we can change the type of the color out so that's it we finished pixart basics and i hope you learned something in this tutorial so if you like this video give thumbs up subscribe the channel for more future tutorials also press the bell icon so that you can get quick notification when i upload a video thanks for watching bye